everybody. This is Rex at Watson's Marine. Uh, back with you talking about uh, rods and reels again. I want to show you a couple more things uh, that uh, are sure to make uh, summertime, springtime, wintertime, any kind of fishing uh, more fun with the right equipment. Uh, I'm going to start off with a rod from G. Loomis. This is probably one of my favorites of all time. This is their spinnerbait rod. It's a it's an 812C spinnerbait rod, uh, six foot nine inch medium action rod. Uh, very very popular. It's but it's it's, it's a more versatile rod than what uh, they market it as. They market it as a spinnerbait rod, uh, but you can use it for a variety of techniques, square bill crankbaits, uh, and one of the things I like to use it for too is walking top water baits, uh, such as Zara spooks or uh, uh, cane walkers, any of that type. Uh, bigger baits that you want to make a, a fairly long cast but not have uh, too long of a rod to kind of uh, allow you the room to be able to work that bait and get a good walking motion with it. Uh, great rod, one of my favorites. Uh, just like I said, spinner bait, uh, square bills, uh, top water walking baits, can't beat it. Uh, and then we want to kind of move into uh, uh, more finesse type stuff. Stuff that you can use out on the river with the little uh, TD minute jerk baits, uh, baits or uh, rods and reels that you can use for drop shots, uh, but uh, uh, rods that you can use for little Kitek swim baits that are really, really popular in our area. Plus, another big thing that's really popular in our area is uh, finesse worms. Uh, shaky head worm uh, rig, a little small Texas rig. And uh, one of the rods that we've added this year that's been really popular for that uh, is from Phoenix Rods. Uh, this particular model is uh, uh, in their Feather series. And boy, it lives up to the name. Really, really lightweight rod. Uh, six foot, nine inches long. Uh, just a, a great rod uh, for a variety of techniques. You can throw uh, the shaky worm on it, Texas rig worms, uh, little small finesse type jigs. Uh, right down to the little Kitek swim baits, very very versatile. You can get a lot of a lot of uh, bang for your buck out of this particular rod. Uh, next up, Daiwa Procyon. Uh, these rods are, are not real uh, super expensive price, but you get a lot of a lot of rod here for your money. Uh, you got cork uh, cork on your reel seat on your on your handles. Uh, this particular rod uh, is a 6'6 medium light and this rod is a great little rod to fish the river with with the, the little small jerk baits, uh, the little small kitex, that type deal. Uh, a great rod and won't break the bank either and just a great lightweight, uh, very sensitive rod. Uh, and paired with all three of those that we've mentioned, for the top water spinnerbait rod, a great real choice for that. Uh, Daiwa Tatula. Uh, this rod, or this reel, is an SVTW. Uh, it's got the T-wing system, which allows for for very long cast, which is basically what you want with the, the top water baits most of the time. Very solid feeling reel. Daiwa's products have come just to the forefront in a lot of areas, and then uh, they're they're little spinning reels. Very inexpensive. This Crossfire, we sell a bunch of these. Uh, very inexpensive little spinning reel. And uh, you can use it from the most avid tournament guys to uh, hey, putting a cricket on and lobbing it up there, catching a bluegill. These, these reels will go all points in between. And then last but not least, uh, Abu Garcia came out with these little combos here this year. Uh, these little spin cast combos are, are so many fishermen and fisherwomen have gotten their start with these little combos such as this right here. And there's uh, several manufacturers have a version of it, but uh, this is an Ike, Mike Iconelli Mike combo, uh, very inexpensive price. And uh, hey, this is the way that we all got our start is throwing these little closed face spin cast reels, uh, the minimal tangles, uh, it's something that you can put in the kid's hand, he can have fun with all day long. 
and uh, not cause a not cause a, a big mess for mom or dad to, to untangle. Uh, but any of these combos like this, uh, and just like I said, from the from the high end to the hardcore tournament fishermen, right down to sitting on the river bank or the creek banks. Uh, we can help you out and help you help you figure out what combo and what rod and reel works for you and and match the rod and reel combo to a technique that you're going to do if you, if you want to uh, if you want to go out and uh, jig a spoon we'll be able to set you up with the right combo of rod and reel for that and no matter what it is uh, we can we can help you and point you in the right direction but uh, anyway come check out this these great manufacturers, all of them, uh, put some great product out there. And uh, if you've got any questions about uh, matching up that perfect combo or a technique-specific combo, come see us up here at Watson's Marine, and we'll be glad to, to help you get set up and, and uh, get a combo that will make your fishing more enjoyable. And uh, good fishing, everybody. Hope you catch a bunch and come see us up.